So, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a great game and stuff, but there are glitches in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild just like any other game. So, today I will be talking about my top 10 favorite glitches in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, let's get into it. Number 10, the No Link Glitch. So a YouTuber named Metty333, um, he made a video about this camera glitch and stuff. So when you use a Sheikah Slate while fighting like any like enemy while you're on a horse, when you press the L and then use a Sheikah Slate scope, then Link will disappear like you just saw there a few seconds ago. And stuff. it's a little glitch. It's not really anything huge or anything. And it's not really used in any ways that can help you in the game, so, but just a fun little glitch to use. It's pointless, so. Number 9, the infinite camera poses glitch. So this is another glitch discovered by Methy333 and stuff. So basically, he found a way to make it so you can do a camera glitch, so you can do infinite camera poses on your Sheikah camera and stuff. So basically, you hold ZL, and then you press ZL and LS at the exact same time. And so then you do a side jump. And then once you do that, you basically can move around the whole camera the whole time. So that's great and stuff. So you can do a tons of things with this glitch for awesome pictures, which is great and stuff. So yeah, the glitch is like a useful glitch in a way and stuff because you can get really cool pictures with it and stuff. So if you haven't done this glitch, you should definitely try it. Number 8, the Infinite Stamina Glitch. So, have you ever been with a you run out stamina in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Well, there is a glitch to actually fix that so you have infinite stamina and stuff. Basically, you can just go straight forward while keep pressing the whistle button and stuff, and then keep on spamming B and stuff, and then you'll be able to freely just run as fast as you would with stamina. So basically, using this glitch, you can just run around as fast as you would using stamina, except you have no stamina meter and stuff, so you can just run infinitely in Breath of the Wild without any stamina as fast as you can, so that is really good. It's way better, like, running like this fast compared to all the other methods for running and stuff. Number 7, the Unlimited Weapons Glitch. So Hyrule Dude made a video about the Unlimited Weapons Glitch. So basically what you need is like, if you want to duplicate like a bunch of bows or like swords or something, you need like at least like 12 of them. And then you need to head to a certain enemy camp in the Gerudo region. So basically once you're there, take all the Bicoblin's weapons at that Gerudo desert camp for the monsters and stuff. And then, once you do that, you need to drop all the weapons that you have from the weapons that you're trying to duplicate. So then, once you drop, like, however many bows you have that you want to duplicate and stuff, once you drop those, then a bunch of book goblins are trying to grab a weapon, so who we'll grab this weapon, and since this Gerudo Desert Enemy Camp has a bunch of book goblins and stuff, and you have a bunch of bows and stuff, then basically um, it will create a duplicating glitch and stuff, so all the book goblins will get like this weapon, and then because of that, they'll grab more weapons than there are there. So then once you're there, and, stuff, and all the book goblins have the weapon, then you just need to kill all of them, then you get all the weapons that you duplicated. It's a pretty simple glitch and stuff, but it can help you a lot in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Number 6, the Infinite Climbing Glitch. So basically for this Infinite Climbing Glitch, which was sort of found by GameXplain, I actually found out about this glitch 
be way before they even made a YouTube video on this. I didn't even know it's a glitch in first place. But anyways, when you're climbing like any mountain stuff, you can have any amount of stamina. And then on like little like steep edges like that and stuff, when you're running out of stamina and stuff, you could just press B and let go, and then you'll regain some of your stamina, which is a really good glitch and stuff. It can help you climb a bunch of mountains, especially in the rain, which is so hard and annoying when you're climbing in the rain and stuff. But this glitch basically gives you infinite stamina when you're climbing. So it's a useful glitch that you should definitely use a lot when climbing in Legends of the Breath of the Wild. So now, on to the next glitch. Number 5, the Breaking Physics glitch. So the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has a pretty complex, like, physics engine, so, but Meti 333 once again pushed the limits of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. He did the craziest physics glitch ever. He basically broke the physics of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So basically what he did for a glitch, he pushed the Guardian into water and stuff, but then when he used Creonis and stuff to make an ice block, and then it shot him all the way over there and stuff, which was crazy that he, the physics were like so broken right there. He broke physics by using Creonis and the Guardian in the water and stuff. So it's an awesome glitch to use since you can just basically have a guardian launcher there. But it's a little bit hard to make this glitch happen. To, but once you get the hang of it, it is an awesome glitch to do. But it really serves no purpose except like abusing guardians and just shooting them as far away as you can. But besides that, uh, there really is no purpose. But yeah, you should definitely do this glitch if you can. Number four, flying horse glitch. So basically, to activate this glitch, you need to take your horse near the horse domain, and then you need to push it down the mountain stuff. But then, when you fall off your horse, then your horse will just be in the air, just standing there and stuff. And this glitch is a cool and stuff, but it's not actually flying because it's on the barrier for the horses entering Zora's domain. There is a barrier there and stuff because you're not supposed to take horses into Zora's domain. So for horses, there's an invisible barrier above Zora's domain that you hit when you do this glitch. There might be a way to also use this glitch for the Master Cycle of Zeros, since you can also not take the Master Cycle of Zero in Zora's Domain. To, but yeah, basically you can take your horse above Zora's Domain, travel there and stuff. But there is a barrier wall there and stuff, so you really can't do that much with this glitch, but it's such a cool glitch to use. Glitch number three, leaving the Great Plateau early glitch. This glitch was bound to be on this top 10 glitch for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild list. And so, so it obviously is at number 3. So basically, May 333 found out this glitch and stuff, and he used Magnesis to launch this iron door into Lake Hylia. Where then, he survived and stuff, but you can't be down there for too long. You need to immediately run near the Great Plateau. To survive so you don't respawn the Great Plateau. And then from there you can go exploring like near the Great Plateau. And it's a cool glitch to like get off the Great Plateau early and visit Hyrule from there. And stuff but basically this glitch is like you can't like go too far with this glitch and stuff. You can't like go to any other villages and stuff because you would then die and then need to go to the Great Plateau again. But now, now, is there an official way to just go wherever you want while off the Great Plateau so far? But there will be in the future, I bet. Number two, clipping to anything glitch. So again, Meti333 found this glitch. So basically, you need to do a flurry rush with an enemy and stuff and use a bomb. And then eventually, um, if you do it perfectly right and stuff, then you'll be able to actually clip into the ground, and then you go underground and stuff, 
and you can do some crazy things from there. And you can see, like, for example, Octrox bodies under the ground and stuff. And you can clip through it. You can clip through Hyrule Castle using this glitch. Clip through, like, Ploymus Mountain or Death Mountain or anything. Or the Great Plateau and stuff. So, yeah, you can basically go, like, anywhere under Hyrule with this glitch. It's an awesome glitch and an interesting glitch to see, like, what's under everything in Hyrule for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and stuff. And there are some interesting glitches that can occur under Hyrule when you're, like, near water. Because there is some water under, like, Neath Hyrule and stuff. And there's some invisible water, too. It's a pretty interesting glitch to do and stuff, but it's definitely a glitch that you must use in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a game-changing glitch. Number one, the fly machine glitch. This is by far the best glitch in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It lets you fly across Hyrule and stuff. So basically, you stack two minecarts on top of each other and stuff, and then, if you use Magnesis correctly and stuff, you'll be able to use them to just fly above Hyrule and stuff. And you can go extremely fast. And then there's this way, where you stack an iron box onto the minecart, and then you'll fly and stuff. Well, that flying method isn't that great, but this flying method where you stack a minecart onto a minecart is the best way to use the flying machine. You can fly really fast from... Hyrule and stuff, so basically you do this in the Elden region, stuff. but when you get the hang of this glitch, which takes like possibly like an hour to master this glitch completely and stuff, once you do, you can like fly from Death Mountain all the way to Gerudo Desert and stuff extremely fast, so you should definitely use that glitch and stuff. That is by far the best glitch in this game, that's why I made number one for this top 10 glitches for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thanks for watching my top 10 Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild glitches and stuff. Hope you enjoy and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And with that out of the way, Savage Hero Brian out.